737, 737. Good morning, y'all. It is the morning grind. Time to get it moving, baby. What's up? It's your boy Jabari Warfield in the building, along with Douglas Paul Washington, a.k.a. Dap Dub. Dapper is what I do. <laughs> Looking kind of dap this morning for the uh, for the new year there, my brother. Kind of suave and deboner. <laughs> I appreciate it. Appreciate it. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. How you doing, man? Man, I'm doing good. I'm happy to be in 2024. Oh, man, I know. Yeah, I we, know. We, we take that for granted sometimes. Trust. Every day is is a gift every single one and i want to enjoy this gift yes sir give every me single as one. much time as possible that i can enjoy this life but yeah life is good man no complaints i hear you bro i hear you yeah we got to rock this life man and enjoy each and every day and uh, i know it sounds cliche we always talk about it but you know what there's some folk that didn't make it man hey some folk that didn't make it. You know? it's, when you look around and you start to see people that are your age and then they drop yeah that that's when it hits home yeah Exactly, exactly. So we got to uh, we got to enjoy this life. This is 88.7 KAZI. Don't forget we are at KAZIFM.org. And you can also take us with you on the TuneIn app. It is for your mobile devices. And one thing I discovered last week is that if you have a smart TV, yeah, and you get the two, you can get apps for your smart TV. Yeah. TuneIn is also on the smart TV. No, bro. I didn't know that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It is yeah, also, you can put that app, right. you can search that app just like you do for for Hulu and, and Crunchyroll and all of that stuff, man. You look for that app and fine tune in. You can you can get KZI on your smart TV. Okay, then yeah. I'm going to do it. Yeah, do it. Yeah, because I, I, you know, I just, I just downloaded one that I'm using now and man, we've been wearing that joint out. <laughs> I, I waited and I waited. I was like, I'm not going to get it. And now we got it. Right. And I, so I was scrolling through and I was looking at all the ones that are available. I was like, nah, I'm good. I'm going to get distracted. But that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to do that. It's very easy to get distracted. I'm glad, you know, the thing about me and television is I love sitting and watching TV. And that's a dangerous thing, yeah, bro. It is. It is. I am it's hard. When I, was, when I was living in my apartment, uh, geez, when was this? This was like 2000. And uh, and that's before I uh, moved into the Warfield Mansion, as you talk about. It. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we gonna get to that today too. <laughs> Here we go. I did not get cable on purpose because I know me. I love sitting and watching television, and I cannot. If that's for for health purposes and just purposes in general, just sitting. You know, it's okay to do every now and again. Yeah. But to do that, like, all the time. I was saying, and I was working for a TV station, too. Yeah. And I was like, nah, let me stay away from that. <laughs> First of all, I didn't like to, I didn't, I didn't, I had a problem with the with the company that I was work that I was contracted. I wasn't working, I was contracted. And it was like, I just wanted to sit there and watch stuff. Like, I was finding stuff. And now, there's a million things you can watch, like, right now. Yeah. Oh, they, I don't know how people do break away. Like if you, if you are single, yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know we think they got all the time in the world. Oh, sure. Single and ain't got no responsibilities, no kids or nothing <laughs> like that. Those people, right. man, we think, in my opinion, yeah, they the strongest people on this earth. <laughs> how do they get out and have time to go date? You know I mean, like, like. It's calling for you. Yeah, I can name like four shows right now. Your boy trying to get to like right now. If you say, you know what, go ahead to the house, man. You good? Sure, yeah. And you got the rest of the show. I'm. I promise, I'll go jump into something. See, it's like that. <laughs> oh my god, fair weather friend. You didn't say it though. No, I, that was your moment. <laughs> see, you could have. You could have let me up out of here. I could have, but you see that? I tell you what, I let see? you up out of here about nine forty-seven. Oh, that uh, about nine forty-seven a.m. Then. The professor being right around 10, so <laughs> by 947, that's when you can go. When, when the, the professor is ushering me out, he's like, hey, uh, you, you know you got to go, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? That's exactly how he'll say it. That's exactly he'll say, how he'll like, say it. He'll uh, say, bro, you know, uh, you, know, uh, you got to go. Got to go. Yeah, he'll, he'll gently move you the heck up out the way. Uh, yeah. Because he got things to do. And and he don't want the speed bump in his way. Mm -mm. Nah, man. I ain't he'll roll right over you. I ain't getting in the professor's way. So, no, yeah. Sir. We we for the listeners, I want y'all to know 2024 ain't nothing changed. We still gonna do the segment, that patented segment. What yeah. question would you ask your rich friend? <laughs> it's coming. I got one for you. Pay no attention to this, brother. <laughs> no, man, we, we we they wanna live vicariously through me. Ah, okay, got you, got you, got you. So I gotta okay. the, the streets need me to ask you certain things, and then it gives them a chance to learn about you. 
Yeah, yeah, but that's cool. That's cool. Okay, so you're gonna be up in these streets doing doing your thing, wondering what's going on with me. <laughs> Yeah. With my supposedly rich self. I mean, oh, you know, my yeah. gosh. All right. if, if I have to tell a story. No, no. Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> never mind. Never if mind. If they ask. Yeah. If they ask, I see I see the deal. All yep. right. Cool. 742 here on 88.7 FM KAZI. Don't forget, take us with you at KAZIFM.org and, of course, on the TuneIn app as well. We own it 24-7, baby. We are grinding. 88.7 FM KAZI. Indeed, turning up 2020. Oh, oh my goodness. Brand new year. We're going to talk about uh, the year, the new year, mm-hmm. what the new year could mean for you and for me and for others involved. Now, of course, if you are stuck on I-35, look out for a stalled out car. It's going to be southbound 35 right around Grand Avenue Parkway. Then you've got a stalled out vehicle. Um, 183 McKinney Falls Parkway taking up northbound lanes. Got a wreck at 183 at the toll road near Hero Way. And if I'm not mistaken, that is going to be, oh man, I got to find Hero Way. But, but if you know where Hero Way is, 183, if you're taking that toll, look out for that. That's a, that's a bad, that's a bad. <laughs> yeah, there's a, there's a, a, a big, there's a Honda dealership out there right at right. that exit. Okay. So. That's uh, not good. Maybe they was trying to get over there and get the get the Civic worked on. Get a new car. And they rushed. Yeah, they, yeah. They're trying, <laughs> trying to get a new car. I love I love Honda, man. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a Honda. A, I'm, a, I'm a, a Honda. My family's always owned Hondas. Oh, I say, like as soon as we got here to Texas, that's what we bought. Is so, a Honda and a Ford truck. There's so how Ford many truck. Honda factories your family own? <laughs> Brother, <laughs> what? I mean, I know you rich. So I, I, you know what? I went too far. No, but yeah, that, that's, that's too personal, bro. When we, when we talking about all of the the assets, son, that if the I, Warfield generations let me put have amassed. A, let me put it to you like this: If I ever own me a Honda dealership, we'll be doing this show from Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> you, you promise? I promise. <laughs> now, we going to Jamaica. We doing a live broadcast from Jamaica, son. Woo! Trust and believe. If that, if I ever come up on that, you know, you never know what God has for you. So yeah, that's if true. If I do, I'm, I'll holler at you. Mm. We'll be, we be, we be, we be in our shorts, sitting up on one of them and around that chairs, <laughs> sipping away, talking about, yeah, man. I, 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 I ain't got to take the family, though, right? That's on you. All right. I'm going to leave that one alone. I mean, you know, I just didn't know if, like, you wanted me to. Man, well, let me tell you that. I'm going to tell you this. If my daughter know I'm going anywhere near a beach uh-huh. and I don't take her, psh, trust me, I'm going to catch all kind of H-E double yeah. hockey sticks when I get back to the crib. Believe that. <laughs> she gonna she gonna be waiting for you, man. I know me. what you want. Let me see the passport. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, she checking gonna, for stamps. Trust me, she gonna give me mad grief, son. Mad grief. Okay. So we got a lot to talk about this morning. We gonna get to it in just a little bit. Seven fifty six on here on eighty eight point seven KAZI. Don't forget, we are available on the TuneIn app. Available for your smartphones and your smart TV. That's right. You download the TuneIn app on your smart TV. You can listen to KAZI anytime. Of course, take us with you at KAZIFM.org on the laptop or the desktop. We are here for you coming into our 42nd, 42nd year of serving the Austin community and streaming live all over the world at KAZIFM.org. 88.7 FM KAZI. You know it's the morning grind, y'all. Wednesday morning. We're back. Yes, we are. We're back and we're black. <laughs> Dang. Ah, yeah, no. We had a couple of them fooled, but yeah, you don't let it out the bag now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, I thought these were some swell fellas, but well, now. They really are cool, but they used to be cool. I don't know anymore. That's okay. They're provocative. You had to check their credit score first. They get the people going. Yes, they do. <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy Jabari Warfield and Douglas Wa- Paul Washington, aka Dab Dub. Don't forget to check him out on the Fans View. And we got, we got, I got a couple of sports questions for you a little later on. Right now, let's yeah. check the, the roadways. We got a uh, collision right now at the toll road of 183 and Hero Way. Uh, stalled out cars all over the place. Northbound 35 and Main Street, I-35, Onion Creek Parkway, Southside. Side. Be careful, and of course, you know what it is. Uh, we back to work. So the traffic's gonna be a little messy. I know, uh, I know my daughter's going back to school. So man, it's gonna be, uh, yeah. Holidays uh, are over, and you know what? I'm. I, I, I hate to be a Scrooge, man, but I'm kind of glad because holidays are tough. They tough for your boy, man. You hate to be? Well, I mean, I don't. I don't want to be like. I don't want to be like the, the the dude that don't like holidays. I, you know, it's they just they just not the same for me. Yeah. So 
like I try to get through them, yeah. and it's 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 tough. It's it's real tough. Man, you don't let me into the segment. All right, come on with the it. segment. The things you would ask your rich friend. I'm gonna tell you this though. You know who always says I hate to be a Scrooge? Right. Rich people. You know, <laughs> see, I know people probably be feeling bad for you. And be like, why, why Douglas always talking about your assets? Mm -hmm. Well, it's because the rest of us don't live like that. Right, okay. And you ain't never heard a poor person say, I hate to be a Scrooge, because they can't afford it. <laughs> you can't that's the afford premise it. of the story. <laughs> you can't afford it. Wait, stop laughing at the poor people. And you on the welfare. <laughs> Come on, Jamari, leave them alone, man. They struggling. Man, please. <laughs> think, woo, but, boy. So I'm a little curious here. Okay. Um, for those who are out there that that live vicariously through me, thank you for your input. Um, <laughs> but I had a question for you. The All streets right. want to know. All right. Hey, can I start coming over and doing my laundry at your spot? At my spot. Yeah. You bring your own soap. So this is a yes. You bring your own soap. Now. I hear you on that, B -Y and I understand. <laughs> the reason I'm asking you this is, bro, you got them, you got them expensive, them fancy washer and dryers with fabric handling. You with with the industry standard I got, I got, fabric swatches that that swish and they're so gentle on my fabric. <laughs> you sure you want me to bring my my dollar store? <laughs> yeah, detergent over. Yeah, I mean my stuff is brickety. No, I use cool. powder. Come on with it. It's it's it, it ain't even really powder. This thing look like crack rocks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know when it dissolves, oh, if it dissolves. Right, Sometimes right. I stick stuff out and I go through my pockets and I still got the rocks in there, bruh. Man. I hope I don't get pulled over because they're gonna check me for some rocks. Yep. And until it comes back from the lab, your boy gonna be in cuffs for a minute. Well, I just I'll just bail you out. How's that? You got it gets like that. Your your washer and dryer are connected to Wi-Fi. Y'all got a all them smart features over there. You got remote controls and stuff. So what I was thinking was, while my stuff was washing and drying, I could be over and I think y'all call it the, the, is it the living quarters or the, what's the room where y'all, the, the receiving lot. room. The, is the that the one y'all yeah, call? The, the exactly. Yeah, that's the one you always make me wait in when I come right, over. Like right. he always, when I come over, I gotta take off my shoes and he makes me stand in this one room. Sure. And he, I don't, I've never actually been throughout the Warfield Mansion, but he make me stay in this one spot. Almost like, you know, he tell me to keep my hands in my pockets and <laughs> I don't know, I just feel like, and then I, when I'm in that room, mm -hmm. I don't listen to him. I be walking around. When he come back, I stand in one spot. But when he go, I walk around. See, Jabari, you, <laughs> how come your camera always follows me when I do that, though? Well, first of all, your toes is funky. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't tell me. To, stop your telling your me to take is, off my shoes. Your toes is funky. You don't funky. know what kind of day I done had, bro. Man, if you got funky toes, you done had a bad day, But sir. I might have had to walk to your spot. That's true. You off the bus line. <laughs> <laughs> I got to get to you. Uh, so Jabari, I also for the listeners before we get off of this, mm -hmm. uh, I got a present here for you. Okay, uh, listeners, Jabari celebrated a birthday. Yes. He was gonna try to sneak that past ah, y'all. So me. I got a gift for him. From these are from all the fans on, on behalf. This is this calendar. It's a 2016 calendar, and it's called 365 Cats. So you're gonna be able to look at all of the wonderful cats of the world. <laughs> but remember, it's 2016, so don't don't use it because it's 2016. Okay, right. Um, that's seven years ago. If you didn't know, the, you know, for, for the math, about to be eight years by the time you get to the end of the year. Right, exactly. But this was a bestseller. 9.7 million copies sold. Wow. So so you're gonna take it. I'll take it. Okay, good. See, I'll I didn't have it. no confidence there that he was going to take it because it's an old calendar. Come on, man. I, and, I'll take it. It's cool. I mean, I can't really use it. I just put it somewhere. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, ha well happy <laughs> happy belated birthday. Thank you, man. Hey, we've I seen brother. It. You, you was going to try to sneak that past everybody. You know what? But you know what? Here's the thing. Ain't nobody. Well, I've gotten a lot of, a lot of Facebook messages. So for those of y'all who have sent Facebook messages, I appreciate it. I, it's, it's hard to respond to those. Not that I don't want to. But what happens is you get so many. And I'm really blessed. You get so many that like. You be you will literally spend like four or five days <laughs> responding, <laughs> right? And, yeah. And it's not that I'm not saying, well, you know, people shouldn't, but at some point, yeah, you will get into that mode of, of, of you know, sending thank yous, and it's appreciated. It really, really is. You know that folks. But first of all, it's a it's a gift to be able to be here. You know, for the years that I've been here, no doubt. And number two, 
to have folks stop by and say, hey, man, happy birthday to you. Um, that's a real cool thing, and I'm very much appreciative of that. Really, so really Jabari's am. over there. As we say, he's driving. He's he's in control of all the buttons over there. That's why I got to watch what I say. He'll cut off my mic. Yeah, you do. I will but cut this thing But I want off. to get this early in, so I want y'all – Call in 512-836-2887. Get his brother some love. Just because you ain't on his social media or in his <laughs> income bracket. <clears throat> None uh, of us are. Yeah, well, yeah. Only 1% of Americans are an, an esteemed Warfield income bracket type. Call in. Get his brother some love. He's been with us. He is radio royalty to us here at the station. So call in. Get that man some love. But I want to give you that that belated birthday wish i appreciate that man thank you so much thank you so much as so we, i said god is good and i'm glad to be here man straight up we're gonna get off in, into some topics so jabari okay i need to ask you something here if your favorite artist you went to their concert and they said i ain't doing a song a mm. song that's on youtube that has 455 million views wow wow a nine times platinum song. Okay. And if they say, You're not doing it. I won't perform that song anymore. It's a stupid song. Mm. I don't like it. What y'all want me to do? And then this rapper told the audience that during a performance in Miami. Right. Nicki Minaj says she is not performing Starships. I got to know your opinion, brother. Uh, okay, cool, cool. Well, we're, we're going to grab a call. Um, but yeah, I can definitely. I can definitely answer that one Good. for sure. So uh, stand by for just a second. It. Let's see if we can get a caller online. Bring them on. Bring them on. Good morning, caller. How you doing? Good morning, Douglas, and good morning, Jafar. I can't say your name <laughs> I right. know. No you problem. know what? I love you, Miss Charlene, but you can't say my name right. And that hurts my heart. <laughs> my heart. You, got, you need to write it out, Miss Charlene. <laughs> write it out. Have it in oh. front of you. Put a three by five card in your hand. <laughs> Spell it again. Spell it. J A B. Hold on. You got a pen and paper. You gonna write this down? Yeah, write this down. Let me see here. I got this. Yeah, here. you got to get this one ready. Right. Especially when we we getting up, this brother birthday wishes. <laughs> we gotta we gotta call him by the born name. Okay, we just we just giving you a hard time on the you born day. We love you. J A B A R I A R I. Yes, that's it. Jabari. Yes, ma'am. There it is. There it is. She it got is. it. Right. She got it. it All is. right. That helped. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> Trust me, I understand. Because I went through, honestly, uh, Miss Charlene, I went through, like, all through school like elementary and all of that and nobody could say my they look at my they looked at my name like I had like I had eight heads or something. <laughs> Uh, well, is it is it an African name? Or yes, ma'am, it is. What, defi it's, it's, what it's, definition is behind the it, Jabari? It's it's Kenyan. It's Kenyan. It's Kenya. Yeah, it's Kenya. Okay. Yeah. Well, Kenyan loan me some money? Um, loyalty, actually. Oh, oh, it does. oh yeah, yeah. Oh, so, loyalty. Yeah, so. I love that. Thank you. That's nice. Thank you. Loyalty. I'm yeah, writing that that's, down. Oh, that's what I was, that's and what my daddy I'll, told me. I'll remain, while she's writing that down, I'll remain loyal, Kenyan. Loan me some money. <laughs> Just <laughs> if, if you see, and I was getting ready to say that too. You know, you please help me, Miss Shawnee. Can't do that. Yeah. Well, happy birthday, happy belated birthday to you. I hope you had a good one and enjoyed it. What what, what day were you born? Uh, December thirtieth. September thirtieth. December thirtieth. Well, December. December. Oh, December the thirtieth. Yes. Happy Ooh. birthday, belated Th birthday to you. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate yes. that. Right before the uh, New Year came in, huh? Just before New Year's came in, yeah. He's and a considerate kid. He allowed Mama to go ahead and enjoy that New Year's. Right, right. <laughs> with a new gift. Right. All right. right. Praise God. Amen. Hey, Amen. look, this is my question laid before you guys. Okay. Uh, you know that that Harvard President Claudine Gay resigned. Right. Yes. They call patri patriotism, whatever you want to call it, define that word. And uh, the Republican leader, whatever her name, Elise, uh, what was her last name? Uh, she initiated the questions, and it's like Stephanie, the mm -hmm. Republican. It's just about a, a, some type of reason that they want to set black America as a, a, a setting sample to say, hey, you have no rights in uh, plagiarism. At least Stephanie, the Republican Party, uh, when you define plagiarism, it says you're using someone else's idea. What are you doing every day of life? Right. You've been taught and trained by your parents. You've right. been learned the rule of law. You've learned the history of our country. And you're using those examples of uh, uh, every day in your life. And right. you speak it. And the Republican Party in the House of Congress speaks so much hatred. Where does it come from? Are they mm -hmm. learning it from the KK transition, from the KK family, from the uh, Proud Boys, from uh, the hate black people? I mean, 
Where is this plagiarism coming from? What are you using an example? Where is your love and your fellowship with one account for everybody? So uh, how do you feel about uh, Claudia and Gay stepping down? I don't think she should have. No. And then you're looking at the American economy. Now, if uh, manual labors would unionize their forces like uh, auto workers and uh, uh, the actresses and stuff that they wanted to, not to be overridden by AI and right. all the other unionized forces, uh, 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 Amazon. If we were, America was, uh, if the, uh, manual labor like farmers, restaurant workers, hotel work, exchange workers, custodian workers, uh, uh, sanitation workers, would picket their forces, combine their forces together, unionize to where they can continue to get their income and walk off that job, then maybe that Texas of Mexico border would not be a problem. Immigration, learn how to respect individuals of who they are, but you're going to ride on the on your manual labor, you're going to ride on your minorities, as you so said. Uh, and get cheap labor, but yet and still you don't want us in this country, but yet and still you don't want to manufacture and b- produce some, the hard manual labor jobs yourself, so you're going to uh, oppress other uh, races. And in my last comment here, uh, Chabari and Douglas, I want you to comment on the fact that we have a Trump who says he's out for retribution. And now this is going before the Supreme Court justices, okay? Mm -hmm. Now this man has already said he's already initiated hate, and all people have lied behind his rhetoric. And the Supreme Court justice is going to sit on the rule to see if he's going to stay on the rule, on the the ballot to be voted on in each state of these United States. But yet still, they don't see what he's, he put hatred and rhetoric in the, in the eyes of Americans to perform what they're doing. Now, if they rule against a rule in favor of Trump. What would that say? Because you're telling me a dictatorship can come into the United States. Right. Now, a you dictator talk- can come into the United States. Right. Now, you, hold like on, hold Putin. on. You, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. You, 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 you're getting, you, you're going out. Let's, 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 let's reel back for just a second. Now, you're talking about ruling in favor of him being as far as what, as far as him being on the ballot in Maine and Colorado? Yes, okay. yes. All but right. You, it's going to calm down the line. But if, if the, uh, the Supreme Court justice ruled in his favor, what, he's, what they're saying, and they're, they're bringing in dictatorship. And what they're saying that what Putin, uh, Xi, and all these other dictators in these foreign countries that people don't have right to speak, they can just kill people just because of their uh, different ideas and beliefs. Look at Alexis Navalny locked up in a prison we don't even know of. So this is, and they could do that for, uh, Trump could do that for the Supreme Court justice or any department of justice, any police department that he wants to. This is what uh, uh, we're under, fix the head up under. Now, I can't understand why. We can't amend the American Constitution and the United Nations and NATO. Any country that's based on democracy, that's been ruled upon the democracy, where the people should have a choice to, to make the decision and who they want in office, why come they can't put that where any rule, any person that want to run for office and want to get in office and then comes out with autocrat or dictatorship rule mm-hmm. cannot be removed and charged? Mm-hmm. Why come they can't just finalize that situation right then and there? Well, we'll, so we'll, see, how that, we'll see how that happens. Well, you know, all we, right, he then. has he has to. You know, it's the thing about it is, the, you know, he, the, this whole ballot situation. I think we need to let's let's wait and see what happens with that. You know, my mama say, don't worry until it's time to worry. You know, and and he does not with two states that have been taken that have taken him off the ballot. We'll we'll see what happens. All right, we'll see what. But um, I appreciate you calling in and thank you for the birthday love. All right. Yes. And all right, and y'all have a blessed day, you and Doug and Safari. I got that name down. You now. got it. To you God got be it. Amen y'all to be you. blessed. Take care. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye. Yes, sir. She gave us a lot. So yeah, the downfall of Harvard's president was her. They they, they unearthed plagiarism claims mm-hmm. for her dissertation for her doctor uh here's what i could tell you i have worked at five institutions of higher learning uh more than that but my offices were at the the main campuses right things are copied things are used all the time so this hunt for her can can be the downfall of many right many right she's just she's just the one um, there, there was a conservative. There was a conservative that was uh, very, very excited about getting her, ousting her. Uh, this gentleman, he, um, 
uh, his name his name it eludes me right now i'm gonna have to i'm gonna have to get that back to you but um when people are celebrating her being ousted right. and they say words like scalped that as soon as she's out so he led the backlash for her to get her out of there and when he went on x after the after she resigned and he said scalped that's a loaded word yeah yeah it is big when, time. and then he next went on to say that his next target is to go off of all of these liberal uh these liberal ideals corporations he's trying to take down dei right exactly. diversity equity and inclusion yeah yep. that that's who this person is now she also went she she dived into she made an anti-semitism um uh statement okay and once you start talking about <laughs> once you get into that yeah, yeah it, you, it's always divisive and people are always gunning for you yeah and there's a, so, an immediate reaction to that as well in and, and so you've got to sidestep sometimes yeah, yeah. And she didn't yeah so to that um i don't think this should be celebrated uh, this was it was celebrated that Harvard finally had someone of her demographic. Yeah. And that is to be celebrated that an Ivy League institution would would have the inclusivity to step outside of their long tenured tradition of just going off of people that look a certain way exactly. and, and have that in common. Um, but no, it's not a good moment. And. Uh, those that have worked, and I'm not, I'm not trying to, 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 to flex, but there are a lot of people use items from others. Oh, sure. Especially in the university. That's, that's a big deal. I mean, it's, it's there's libraries yes. of, of stuff, right? And, and so, it, yeah, to me, I mean, you know, when you basically, when you, and especially when you use language like scalped. Come on. Yeah. We know we're talking about credibility's we, out the window. Yeah, yeah, your credibility is shot. You, 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 we ain't stupid. Don't even play us like we're stupid. We know exactly what that means and we know exactly why you're in. And that's why when I asked, um, we had Dr. Jennifer Wilkes from uh, the uh, Warfield Center for African American Studies. Um, and I talked to her about DEI and could it affect, you know, the Warfield Center? Um, because, you know, that's that has helped so many people. I've watched it. I know the people that have that it has helped yeah. on a personal level, mm -hmm. right? Folks I can call right now. Uh, but at some point, that's, you know, it's it, we got to watch out for that. Uh, that's a really, really big deal. So uh, thank you, Miss Charlene, again for calling in. We certainly appreciate it. We're going to take a break and come back. It's 825. This is the Morning Grind on 88.7 FM KAZI. It is 832. Your boy Jabari Warfield in the building along with Dap Dub. Yep. What's going on, man? Man, I'm up in here. You are up in her. So happy to be here. Yes, man. Yeah, we're going to talk a little sports and some other stuff, but uh, let, let's take a call, man. Let's, I feel like let's take. I feel like we should take a call since we asked about it. Well, Mr. Telephone Man, Mr. put somebody Telephone on the line. What's <laughs> <laughs> up, Something wrong with my voice, too. <laughs> Good morning, y'all. Good, Good morning. morning. <laughs> How you doing, sis? Good morning. Hey, I'm doing well. Y'all are awesome, first of all. Let me just say that. Thank, Thank y'all for everything. Thank y'all for talking about the stuff y'all talk about. Thank you. Um, looking forward to the sports segment. There's been a whole lot going on. I want to hear them haters hate. Uh, <laughs> okay, yeah. I got to talk I gotta talk to him about this Detroit-Dallas game. Yeah, oh, yeah we're going to get to that. Oh, oh show. Woo, anyway, how you doing, yeah, <laughs> Right. Anyway, I'm boycott. <laughs> but oh. anyway... <laughs> <laughs> anyway, y'all, I love this last caller, and 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 y'all, the way y'all resolved that, that was really good. Um, Thank you. I think though, like, there's this whole thing of uh, there's lots of songs about it. You can't stop the youth, right? And and the youth and the young people, and also given the fact that all of us have in our actions and in our deeds have created a world that is different. There's people with a whole lot of money and a whole lot of opinions, but they don't really have a whole lot of power when it comes to the day-to-day -day and how we engage with each other. Right. And I think we need to remember that. Uh, that they can say all kinds of things. They can do all kinds of things. But as I say over and over again, it is so hard out here because we are so hard on each other. And as long as we continue to tell each other the truth and continue to walk in love, then no matter what, these these uh, uh, powers and principalities and wickedness in high places, no matter what is happening there, 
as long as we are acting in love and walking in love and walking in truth, then we will be fine. Yeah. And we have to remember that. Like when you cut the head off of a snake, it thrashes, but it's already dead. Yeah. So into that. As, as, as a community, as, as a folk, as a people, um, and that's across not just black, white, rich, you know, like all of it. We need to acknowledge and remember and walk in the fact that we are going to be okay. The head has already been cut off of the snake. We're just watching the thrashing because our children, our children, <laughs> shout out to Harold McMillan, our children are assorted chocolate. Yeah. Exactly. So no matter what, we are going to want to learn about our people. Our children are going to want to learn about their parents. Our children are going to learn how we got here. Yeah. And there's people among us that will be willing to tell it. And yeah. then let's children do with it what they will. Exactly. And there's, there's such a, you know, the thing about it is that it, I just feel like, you know, elements of our history had tried to be, you know, they, you know, they tried to get buried. Right. And you can't do that because can't. we're we're everywhere. We're in we're sewn in our history and the things that we have done and, and have accomplished are sewn in to the, every fabric of America and the world. So the world. you can't you can't drop that. And as long as you know, you can try to erase history all you want. But you forget there's 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 still, you know, folk that, you know, grandma and grandpas and aunts and uncles that that know what's going on. And as long as as long as they're here and the information is passed on. You can't erase the history. Don't even try it. Don't even try it. Don't even try it. And they can't tell us what we can talk about in our home. Exactly. You know, they can't tell us how we raise our how we raise our children in our homes, the values and morals that we instill in them. Because of course, we all have to send them out into the world. At any level of education, we have to send our children out into the world. But the, our best hope is that we can equip them to navigate the false ideas. And my daddy, I'll have him around soon. But Daddy, the three rules of life is one, rule number one, survive. We're on the phone right now. We're doing that, right? Mm -hmm. uh, rule number two is seek the truth. And rule number three is, is uh, try to be happy. Exactly. You know, and if we can all do that all the time, no matter what all the horribleness is, no matter how loud it is, that truth will still always be underneath it. It'll always be. And we have to hold on to that and just keep doing that. And, uh, you know, remember the, the I've got an 80-20 philosophy, <laughs> which is 80% building what, what, what is good and 20% tearing down the barriers. But most of our attention really does have to be towards the good because as much as, as all the energy that we're putting towards removing these barriers, that's still us participating, saying that they've got the authority to tell us not to love each other the way we want to love each other right. as a community. Right. And they just don't, y'all. Exactly. They just don't. And and we have to start with loving ourselves as well. I think a lot of times we feel like if if we're we're okay if we pour out every single thing we have into into something into someone someone else, but self love is where it starts. That's the foundation. That's no right. house exists, no building exists unless you have a strong foundation. If you your your foundation of self love is there, you can pour into other people. And I'm even learning that myself because it was you know it's it had a lot of. A lot of things, you know, that, that I dealt with in, in my childhood that, I, you know, that really kind of negated that. But as I've grown, I've learned that loving yourself is where it starts. And that's where you can pour into other people completely. You can pour into other people, but I think you'll pour into other people completely when you start with that self-love and that self-knowledge of self as well. That's right. That's right. Know thyself. Our people will perish for lack of knowledge. And you can't tell anybody anything if you don't know nothing. True. <laughs> Very true. <laughs> Good to talk but to I you, Mama. I appreciate y'all so much. Sure thing. Thanks for calling in. Thank right, you. We'll talk soon, y'all. I'll be uh, in there tomorrow. Sounds sounds good. All right, cool. We'll look for you then. Yes, sir. Right. Bye. Bye. Stacey Shea, y'all. Dropping by, dropping some gems. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, All right. So we let's talk a couple of things. You just said yeah. something to me that but I about lost my grill just laughing at that. What yeah, in man. Because it's a it's a thing. All right. So let's get it. Uh <laughs> I'm too pretty to be arrested. <laughs> Someone literally said that to cops. Wow. I'm too pretty. Wow. While she's getting cuffed. So there's Man. a young lady. 
and her name is Hin Bustami. She's 29 years old. Mm -hmm. She's been in the news over the last few months. She's been making national headlines, and then <clears throat> she's finally culminated uh, just a couple weeks ago, uh, not barely a, a week ago. She culminated. So first, she was at an airport out and and out out in a Chili's restaurant, and she decided to walk away. She said, "Eh, I ain't gonna pay this bill." Right. Well, the officers ran up to her and they said, hey, you got to pay. And she said, no, y'all ain't arresting me. I'm too pretty to be arrested that, 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 <laughs> with, with all sincerity. So they arrested her. But while she was getting arrested, you know, she she made a, a lot of claims. And unfortunately for her, everything was caught on camera. But she was like, oh, they're perverts. And they were trying to rape her. Because, yeah, she was drunk. She was allegedly oh, drunk at the gosh. time that they arrived. Right. Shortly after that, she made national news again when she took a glass table and broke that over her mom's head. What? Yeah. Come on, so son. So really? she shared a home with her mom. They had a... So after that, they had an argument over cigarettes. She took out... She took mm. a knife and she stabbed her mom to death. Oh, come on. Are you serious? And that is what finally is going to take this lady off the streets. Oh, my gosh. When she That's called crazy. the cops. That's crazy. She said, I think I killed my mommy. Come on, you man. You think? You think? Like, that's, that's again. Uh, yeah, you, yeah, you kind of did. Oh, come on. Yeah, bro. bro. Really? That, it, so it's all over. Finally. It's finally wow. over for her. Wow. Uh, when we go back to... Uh, what Ms. Charlene said about Trump. Mm. She mentioned the retribution. Right. If there is a Trump supporter who thinks that it is it is proper speech for him to say that he's on a revenge tour, that when he gets back in power, he's seeking retribution. If you think that's what you need, I would love to have a conversation with you. That that's what you think a person that wields that amount of power can do. I, I think it's reckless. Right. I don't care oh, what your political side is. That is right. I don't think that you should be out here fueling others, gassing them with hate. Yeah. Retribution, revenge. That's a long path to go. So so yes, he has made those statements. Unfortunately, he did that when he was in Texas at a Waco rally. Right. And he was stating that, yeah, hey, when I get on, <laughs> I'm, I'm going after everybody. Man, it's and so it's, it's statements of that. And that just brings me to the last point that she talked about. So his name was Christopher Rufo. Mm -hmm. He was the conservative activist that led the charge that to, to, to get uh, Miss Claudine Gay, Dr. Gay, uh, ousted as the president of Harvard. Wow. And the only thing he said is, so he went to X, formerly Twitter, and he used a trophy of violence and he said, scalped. And that just tells me that we didn't need to hear from him that he was out there and he's against DEI ideology. Right. Because when you invoke something like that, that trophy of violence, that tells me already you ain't got enough people in your circle to make you aware exactly you don't look to have those people in your circle you don't have them in your circle yeah. and that is what we have and then to go on to your social media and to to brag to go to, on something as big as x yeah. yeah so yeah yeah that's what we're dealing with there see that's ridiculous man yeah, and yeah you're right he doesn't have that so at some point it's like it's um it's like if, you know everybody. Let's go after Frankenstein's monster. Let's <laughs> yeah. get the torches yeah. and the pitchforks. Yes. And let's go after Frankenstein's monster. I want that same energy on a bunch of doctors. Since you since you got the time, bro. Yeah. Since you got the time, I want you to be fair, right? Yeah, exactly. Go after somebody else then that doesn't look like her who is on your ideology. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, this is what we doing? Because you just, I mean, at this point, you just picking. Oh, let's go after that person. Yeah. So. If that's what we're doing. <laughs> you, you had mentioned that you uh, you had some some Dallas Detroit. Man, okay, yes. All right, bro. All right, yeah. Since we shifting. Yeah. Okay, so my 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 daughter's aunt, shout out to my daughter's aunt. She is a huge Cowboys fan. Uh -huh. Huge. Okay, so I'm visiting my daughter and my my uh, everybody's downstairs watching the game. Right. Yes. And so everything winds down to about that last 30 seconds or so. Yes. I go back upstairs. Right. And I'm, you know, hanging out with my daughter. And so we're back upstairs and I'm watching the TV upstairs. 
And I turned this thing on, and I started watching that last 25 seconds of the fourth quarter. That's when you turned it on? When, well, I've been watching already. But, but I turned you it on. focused. I, I, yeah, I focused okay. on that. So I've already been watching the game. I just went back upstairs okay, to, okay. To, do, to hang out with my daughter, right? Because I figured, okay, Dallas game's going to be over, boom, boom, boom. Right? And then all of a sudden, <laughs> all of a sudden I see that play, right? Where where the I guess at some point the one of the one of the players yes. went up to the ref and said he was eligible, yes, hit sir. the line, they threw the ball to him, but the play was blown the the, the touchdown was blown dead. Yes, sir. Or or because he the, was then the he was point, ineligible. Two points extra point. Yes, oh, sir. Yeah, it's a, it was a conversion. I'm sorry, yeah. the two point conversion. Yeah, so when you come in, uh, there there are different packages that teams use. And there's some trick praise. If if those those who are of an of another generation, if you remember William the Refrigerator Perry, when they yes, were in the sir. Super Bowl, you gave that big man a ball. The Super Bowl he, shuffle. Yeah, so you do that. There are trick plays that you get for your big guys that got hands. Right. So they brought in two guys, number 70 and number 68. But if they're going to bring you in for a trick play, you can't trick the ref. <laughs> you got to come <laughs> in and you guys, you got to approach the ref and let them know, hey, man, I'm eligible. We, right. about, to do, we, we about to do something. Right. Now, for the record, you, you don't want to be overly demonstrative. That's one of those unwritten rules that, that all sports have. But you, you want to you get to the ref. You want to let the ref know. And then you want to get to the play. Get right. to the to line right this this young man came in it's 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 not it's not refutable there there's video evidence that the young man extended himself towards the 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 ump you would never do that unless you're trying to declare your eligibility eligibility. for the play right now the the, there's a lot going on the game is over there was a home win streak on the line that dallas has of 16 straight games right everyone it's a nationally televised game Jerry wields a lot of power. Yeah, he does. Uh, they, they, they had a significant amount of attention at halftime because Jimmy Johnson went into the ring of, uh, of fame there. Yeah. It, it's a high-profile game. Right. So the referee is hustling. His adrenaline is flowing from where he was standing when he was approached to head up to the line to start the play. The video evidence shows that he couldn't be bothered. He was not paying as much attention mm. as it seems. If a 300-pound dude roll up on you, Jabari, you think you're going to notice? Oh, I'm going to notice a dude who's almost my size. Yeah. So to cover, <laughs> now, that that officiating crew was reprimanded by the NFL, but th- that's after the fact. You got to fix it at the moment. Yes, you, you get do. the call right then. Yes, you do. And you never take points off the board, and they did that. Mm. And that's the problem. So the mm. NFL lost a whole lot of fans and um, a lot of and, credibility, and integrity, sure. and yes, sir, and credibility because of that. You sold out. You sold out for Dallas. You sold out for Jerry. You sold out the game. Wow. And the that's Dallas, crazy. the Dallas fans, they know it. What's worse is the Detroit fans. They they don't get away with the win that they earned. Right. And, and I did not know Detroit was killing it like they were. Detroit's doing they were like anything. eleven and four. It started three? last year, so they made a big change. They okay. they let their guy go, Matt Stafford. He's been there. He's been there for years. Right. He always had big arm talent. Came out of the University of Georgia, uh, but everyone always thought it was his fault. So they ship him off to the L.A. Rams, and the L.A. Rams go win a Super Bowl with that boy. And and the L.A. Rams, who had just been to a Super Bowl with Jared Goff, lost to the Patriots, and they couldn't score nothing. Right. So it, everybody was like, oh, y'all suck. It, it's the quarterback. <laughs> right, right, right. So they, they send that guy to Detroit. That's purgatory. They was like, go yeah, go up yeah, to the Great yeah, White yeah, North no. to die. Yeah, exactly. So, but but he's <laughs> right. been doing his thing. So they finished last year. They went they won they won like six or seven straight to end the year last year, and they kept that momentum right into this year. And they've been doing their thing. Man, they've been doing. Detroit it. is ready. I was like, I looked at, I was like, okay. I, I looked at the record, you know, and I was like, okay, you know, Dallas and, you know, going up against Detroit, this will be an easy one. Yeah. And I hate to say that because my mom was from Detroit, you know, and, and, you know, I'm a big fan of, you know, Barry Sanders, those uh-huh. guys. Yeah. But, man, but to, but I looked at the record, I'm like, 11 and 5 I right mean, now. Dude, walk, that walk right past me. I was like, okay. And they're amazing. On the road, they're 6 and 3. On the road, wow! They'd actually be seven and two if you know if this thing Dallas if this thing got, hadn't happened, it wouldn't have got away with it. I, dude, I was totally confused because I've you know I I'd heard about you know ineligible receivers downfield, yes, and sir. all that stuff, yes sir. Um, but got to declare. But yeah, I was like, 
what just happened? Yeah. What just, I mean, I'm not quite sure. You know, and like my daughter's aunt, she didn't care. She's like a W's a W. I don't now, care. Now, now, some guys, they confuse the plays. You know, there's there's hundreds of plays that you have. Right. And you, and you you need to have these memorized. So sometimes one of those linemen would think, oh, this is the play where I have to run downfield and block. Right. Or this is the one where I drop back and block. And so if they confuse that, then they're an ineligible receiver downfield. Ah. So they once they once they extend themselves or retract themselves, depending on the play, yeah, you could you can get that thing wrong. I was trying to figure that out, man. I was like, uh, what just happened? Because I mean, dude, it's like one point, yeah, tw- you know, twenty some twenty some odd seconds on the clock, yeah. and all, and then here comes the you know the soap opera drama, the, yeah, the novella drama, and it's like, oh, what happen. is going on? You can't let that happen. Yo, you, that was the, you halt the game for injury timeouts, yeah. to, as long as possible to get it right. Sure. I mean, I don't want to be insensitive here, but you know what? We could drag a person off to the side quick. Mm. But we try to err on the side of safety, right? Of course. But we can't err on the side of credibility and get this call right. Hey, man. With all these cameras, we in Jerry's world. Right, yeah. That was a home game for them. So it got it got bonafide cameras. Yeah. The, the biggest screens out there in a stadium. They got it. I, I got That's one other good. little sports thing to ask you. All right, cool. If I told you that I'm in a basketball game and I beat somebody 159 to 18, how that hit you? That hit me like a football score. <laughs> <laughs> that would hit me like no basketball nah, score. Man, we were scored by twos and ones and threes. So Grambling wow. University, the Grambling women's basketball team, that's a historically black college university. Yes, Shout out to Grambling. Those who didn't know, the Lady Tigers beat the College of Biblical Studies. That They out of here. They out of here in Texas. They over in Houston. Wow. The College of Biblical Studies, they beat them girls by 141 points. <laughs> Come on, man. Man, they were, did they did they even play? I mean, they yeah, they oh played. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh they they didn't score until there was two minutes left in the first quarter. By that time, they was down 34 to zip. Son. That's how it was going. Mm, 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 that's painful. That's a record. That's painful. I wouldn't want to talk to nobody. I wouldn't want to talk to nobody. I'd turn my phone off. But Jabari. Yo. How you gonna do that to these are these are future pastors, evangelists, ministers, mm. and uh like we couldn't, we couldn't have a little prayer for him or something. The, we the couldn't. The Lord giveth and the <laughs> Lord tooketh away <laughs> that wind. Wait, where was the, all all the good Reverend doctors weren't watching nah, that game? No. Nah. y'all know when it was when it was seventy to the six, <laughs> the prayer should have started going up. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. You yeah, need, man, needed, that actually a, happened. You needed a whole lot of folk to pray. You needed a prayer, uh, some prayer warriors for real. Uh, wow. Yep. Son, that's crazy. I ain't never seen nothing like that Yo, before. Yeah, that's pretty ill. That's pretty ill. And that broke a record. Really? Yeah. Man, that's nuts, yo. All right, don't forget to join Douglas and Keith Braithwaite. And uh, you guys got Corey, Corey Mose. Oh, we got Corey Mose from KVU. Okay, yeah. okay, Keith, yeah. Keith stops in, you know, every now and then. Okay, but Corey's, Corey's in there for sure. Yes, sir. All right, and, sounds good. And Travis Kent. Yeah, 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 yeah. We doing oh, it. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Fans View comes on 10 to noon, Friday, Sports Talk with... This dude over here, over on, on my right side doing his thing, yeah. 852 here on 88.7 KAZI. This is the Morning Grind. Don't forget to check us out on KAZIFM.org and get the TuneIn app for your mobile device and your smart TV. That's right. You can actually get KAZI on your television by getting the TuneIn app. Search KAZI. 42 years and counting of broadcasting here in the Austin area. This is the Morning Grind with 88.7 FM KAZI. Rolling, rolling, rolling. We in it. We in it. Deep. <laughs> we always in it. I'm rolling always in it deep. deep. Yeah, always in it deep. All right, Tim's what's going on I-35. Uh, looks like we've got a collision at I-35 and Center Point Road. Now, this is going to be a little bit of a mess for those of you who are headed towards the San Marcos area. If you're headed towards San Marcos, look out for this accident. It's on southbound lanes of 35, and it's going to be possibly on the shoulder. Looks like the part of the shoulder is blocked, but you know how we like to do. We like to, we like to look and see and find out what's going on. Mm-hmm. So uh, be, be, uh, be mindful of that. Uh, shout out to Mr. Lee. Uh, thank you for the happy happy birthday. Uh, happy birthday. Uh, love. Appreciate it, man. Uh, definitely a good thing. Uh, your boy's turning 35 again. So it's a <laughs> it's a beautiful thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Weather-wise, what's up? Uh, looks like uh, we're going to get some rain. 
Uh, we may get some rain tomorrow. It'll be about 57. Friday, we're definitely going to get more rain. Uh, let's say, I'd say maybe about 63 degrees for the high. Uh, temps going to be down into the 40s all the way through the rest of the week. So mm. just keep that in mind, y'all. Uh, take your jacket with you. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want you to get cold, get no cold. And, you know, the weather just gets a little funky right around yeah. this time, man. So, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Jabari Warfield. Dab Dub's in the building from the Fans View and the Morning Grind Wednesday. It is a Warfield Wednesday. What's up, my brother? Man, you said that you're turning 35 again. See, again. I was wondering, because <laughs> I've been hearing, you've been on the 40 under 40 millionaires list See, for like the last 10 years. I'm so, I was wondering you how you was pulling that off. If you're 35 and then 35 again, then 35 again. But that's all right. At least you, you stay on the list. <laughs> I do stay <laughs> on the list. Till they take you off. Yeah, till they come get me. I'm here, I'm here till they come and get me. That means they want you, brother. They they selling the, the issues because your face is on it. People, they want to inquire so. minds, want to know. They want to know, what Jabari up to? What's what, are, what are they doing? What's so good? Jabari, I had asked you earlier. Okay. I said, you go to a concert. And then your favorite artist, the money you spent money to get there. You know, we, we remember we talked about how much it takes when we were talking about the Lauren Hill concerts. Right. So you done did everything you had to do to go see this person, and they say they ain't gonna perform a song that's a hit mm. that 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 on on that has four hundred and sixty six million views on YouTube alone. Right. How, how does that hit you when they say they're not going to do that? That they're not going to do that. That that kind of gets me a little bit. Because, um, I mean, that's part of the reason why you why you go to see an artist. What's, what, um, what was the name of the song? So, Starships by Nicki Minaj. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. She can leave that one alone. Well, she can oh. leave that one alone. Oh, she can leave that one. That's that's one of those. That's one of those. Um, it, it was like early two thousand, wasn't it? Came out something like that. Two thousand twelve. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. She can leave that one alone. I I can see her not doing that one. I can see. I, I honestly could because that's not like for me. Um, you know, Nikki is Nikki is a you know she's she's more I think more of a rap artist. And and on this one, I think she's singing, and it sounds something like like you know like like David Guetta does, kind of the EDM, you know, which is cool. I like you know I dig EDM. I just don't think EDM and Nicki Minaj fit very well. You know, maybe on a feature, like she was on somebody's track. Um, but, but I can understand somebody being upset. And I, I tell you, an artist that came to town that I wanted her to do a song that she doesn't, that from what I understand, doesn't do anymore. Yeah. And that's Patrice Russian. And what doesn't she do? She doesn't do Forget Me Nots anymore. <gasps> That's what I understood. Now this is Whoa. this allegedly. Yeah. Allegedly. Now here's the thing about Patrice. A lot of things a lot of people don't know this about her. Um, is that she started out in jazz, right? She just oh. started out as a jazz pianist, mm -hmm. right? Um, I think she did some work with she did some some stuff with Prince. Um, she's worked with, you know, like George Benson and uh, I think she's done did some stuff with Quincy Jones and, and some other, you know, just lots of jazz artists, like yeah. old school jazz, like Thelonious Monk, you know, okay. John Coltrane kind of, you know, in that era yeah. at a very young age because she was incredible then, still very incredible now. And of course, you know, she did Forget Me Not, Settle For My Love and Remind Me, Ooh. you know, on all these hits, right? Yeah. All these really, really dope hits. But she, there was some somewhere along the line, I think she decided to to not do that anymore and and you really have to to do a deep dive into a few uh, a few articles about her where i think at some point she decided to swing away from that right and then she started doing a lot of um music directing for the grammys music directing for bet awards like she put the band together you know and and play music between uh you know between uh you know awards and like backing up some of the artists that were performing as well so she's been doing that. You know, it's not like she's been sitting around like, you know, twiddling her thumbs, right? Oh, what am I going to do now? She's, she's too talented for that. <laughs> but she, I th if I remember correctly, she came to town. Last time she came to town, she played everything, a lot, a lot of jazz stuff. Um, but she didn't do Forget Me Nots at all. I don't think she did any of her pop records. But she did not do Forget Me Not. That was the one I was waiting on. I yeah. was like, I, you know, Settle For My Love, Remind Me, Beautiful Songs. Uh -huh. But... At least give me forget me nots. Man, that thing that that song was sampled. So Will Smith did it, right. Men in Black in ninety seven. And then George Michael did it a year before in the song Fast Love. Yep, exactly. He sampled uh, that one. Uh, and then uh, <laughs> this artist named Young Gravy, he had a song called <laughs> Forget Me Thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> 
forget. <laughs> so you even choked on that. Yeah, one. yeah, that was a good forget one. And then, me and then the, beat, the beat nuts used it back in '97. So '96, '97, she had a two year run there where there was a lot of money right. coming her way for people sampling that song. But sure. yeah, they used it too. So yeah, <laughs> that me, was um, that was it. Thoughts. Forget hey, me I, thoughts, really? Yeah, man. Oh. Ooh, where's so, his mom and daddy? You know that list was coming out of people that was on the Epstein list, right? Yeah. And, you know, unfortunately, the past president, uh, allegedly, Bill Clinton is on it. Mm, yeah, and I've been hearing so that now for a he's while. He's got to deal with that. I've been hearing that for a while. But there was a comment. There was a comment that Aaron Rodgers said that he's going to pop a bottle when the Epstein Associates list is released. And he suggests... Aaron Rodgers, the football star, suggested that Jimmy Kimmel was going to be named. Ooh, you so, lying. So Jimmy Kimmel, this is A.A. Ryan right. Rodgers. Right, right. So Jimmy Kimmel went to X, and he had a statement for him. He said, dear A.A. word that is in the Bible and ends in whole. Right. <laughs> right. For the record, I've not met, flown with, visited, or had any contact whatsoever with Epstein, nor will you find my name on any list other than the clearly phony nonsense that soft brain wackos like yourself can't seem to distinguish from reality. Mm. Your reckless words put my family in danger. Keep it up and we will debate the facts further in court. Wow. Bruh. Yeah. Yeah. When you get a comedian, uh, man. <laughs> yeah, when you know when you get Jimmy Kimmel, when you when you get Jimmy, Jimmy Kimmel turned up, that's a problem. Cuz that's, you know, and and in in addition to that, you know, not knowing whether he is guilty or innocent of any of this, you're putting people's family at risk because yes, there are people out there that will, you know, will basically like like we were talking about Frankenstein's monster. Yeah. They go and get the pitchforks, they go and get the torches, and they go after, you know, and these are kids. You don't want to, you know, if you want to go out because I'm like this, you go after me, that's cool. I'll leave my daughter alone because I yeah. promise you I'm gonna run the over. Paparazzi you. will build up to chase his wife. Exactly. Do you have a comment on your husband and 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 his alleged uh, you exactly. know opportunities with Epstein, exactly. and now the wife, the pickup line, like it's just crazy, man. And then yeah, danger. These paparazzi, they they'll do anything. They'll do anything to get the shot. So they'll they're swerving in traffic. They pulling up to you. Then other drivers are now responding, and and it gets dangerous, man. Sure, it does. So, it does. I'm glad he came out. Yeah, because I mean, you some. know, some of those some of those cats will get like two two hundred fifty G's. They'd get 250 stacks for pictures, man. Yeah. They would get money. Yeah. For pic- They'll get money. <laughs> they could get money right now for Kim Kardashian walking into a Starbucks. Yeah. 250 G's, I promise you. I promise you. In the vein of that, you know, it, it it just sucks to be a celebrity and that this kind of stuff could come out. And that's the downside of fan of the fame. Of fame. Yeah. Is that you have to Jimmy Kimmel has to if 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 he is not on the list, yeah, that he has to come out and waste his time and deal with this, yeah. Because you messing with my money, Aaron Rodgers. When you start saying stuff like that, sponsors want to drop you. Yeah, you messing with yeah my 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 talk show gig. Like nah, man, you, you need to you need to know some facts first. Yeah. Before you start making implications, right? And nothing's been proven. He, I mean, he's is, if Aaron Rodgers. Okay, I'm like this. If that's the case, if has Aaron Rodgers seen the list? Nah, he ain't seen no list. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm it, talking it, about. That's what, that's that's what makes it. That's what makes it so so deplorable. Yeah, that he would do that. Right. Uh, I, so I also I had a little question when we're talking about relationships. Okay. There's a YouTuber. His name is Omi and a Hellcat. <laughs> he offers his girlfriend over $25 million if he cheats again. And I want to know if you would take this deal. Okay. So let me explain to you. All right. So earlier this year, he began serving a five and a half year federal sentence. What? <laughs> yeah. So he was that illegally selling good. copyrighted yeah. video content right. to his seven, 790,000 subscribers. Good night. And his girlfriend, Mimi, she recently broke up with him. She found out he had cheated on, on her over a hundred times. Come on. He's a celebrity. Uh, and he wants her back. So he's offering her a deal that would give her over $25 million if they start dating again and if he cheats again. So this is the agreement. Mm-hmm. He's saying that he will give her eight different properties, eight commercial properties that are valued at $4.9 million. Okay. A trust account with eighteen and a half million dollars in it. 
Ownership of three nightclubs along with the licenses for it. Liquid assets totaling six hundred and twenty thousand. That means money in the bank. That's wow. money in the bank. Wow. For those who don't know, ownership rights to trademarks and buildings under his his brand, which is reloaded. Right. His social media restrictions. So he he will any violation will incur a penalty of a hundred thousand dollars for each video created of someone that is able to say. So I'm I'm just kind of curious with all of that. Mm -hmm. If 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 you had a little pretty boo thing and she was a, a YouTube creator, right? Would you take her back? Shoot, where's he live? <laughs> <laughs> what his name is? Where he yeah, going? Where he at? I mean, oh, which he? property? Oh. You know, hey, he said eight. He got eight properties. That's crazy. I don't know, man. I think it's you know. To, to, first of all, he's not valuing. He's not valuing her. He has no value in her because if that's the case, he wouldn't have cheated a hundred times, you said? Over a hundred. See, no. <laughs> no. It, this, see, that's ridiculous. Okay? What it, happened it, was. Yeah, what I, what I had said When I flew was, into town. Yeah. What I had said They fell was, all over me. Oh, and man, I couldn't no. get them off. Nah, nah, nah. That's dangerous, bro. It's dangerous. Now, would, the money would be nice and the properties would definitely be nice, especially if you got residual income. You can basically do what I do and, you know, surf Hulu and Netflix and all of that, <laughs> right? You know, yeah. making that resi making that passive income all yeah. day long. Yes. But then again, you got to consider you got to consider things like your health. OK, and I know most people. Are, oh, da, 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 da. remember Steve Jobs, one of the richest, most wealthiest men in the world, died at an early age yes, of what sir. he should not have been you know at an early as much money as as he made you know your health is is more important it it don't matter if you make all that money if you ain't here to spend it yeah right the mad money right that's crazy and we got such a, a value on money you know money you know we're keeping it real because i want money yeah come on now, yeah you ain't gonna be you ain't gonna be here to spend it if dudes living that reckless and he wants you yep. if he does it all if, if he does it at least if he does it 10 times he's gonna do it again yes he and he's is. done it more than 100 mm -mm. no man that's no that's that's no no nah, no nah, that's some chorizo you could keep right there <laughs> no nah, nah. take it with you go 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 out of here like earl flynn man earl flynn had so many general warts that it was taken off of his body mm -mm. and preserved to use in <laughs> medical um, research going forward. He look, became a science that experiment. Yeah. Dang. Because it, it, they, no one could believe how disfigured his organ was. Wow. So, yeah. Nah, good. You, you can go a little too far yeah, you when can. it comes to being out there. You can. So, switch to some positive vibes. Okay. A young lady back in Alabama, she bought a $25 dress at Goodwill. Okay. How much you think that dress is worth? If I'm talking about it, a twenty five dollar dress at Goodwill. Yes, sir. Its actual worth. Yeah. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe twice that. Fifty, seventy five. Yeah, hey, something uh, like that. Man, you're real close. Okay. Because it's six thousand dollars. What? <laughs> Yo, what? Oh, dude, that's a come up. With, that's, with that's Macklemore major. said popping tags. You you going you going to the Goodwill? He made a whole song off of that. That's a tag popping Man. For, your, for your soul right there. Son. She went in. Wow. She saw it, and she she had no idea. She just thought it was a stunning wedding gown, mm -hmm. her size. She thought it was a once in a lifetime deal that it, it you know it fits. So she was like, yeah, I'm gonna go. Right. While doing some research later, she learned the dress was from designer Galia Lahav, and valued at six thousand two hundred dollars. Lahav is a beloved brand worn by Beyonce, Simone Bowles, Paris wow. Hilton, wow. Ronda Rousey. She shared her excitement on TikTok in a video, and she detailed the shocking discovery. Dang, bruh, come on, seriously? Yeah. What in the yeah. world? Yeah, that's a how that's did, a come up. That's great. I mean, how in the world? I think wasn't there something about somebody finding? I saw somebody who would found like this vase, right? Is they bought this vase for three dollars? And yeah. this thing is worth like three thousand. Like so, it's worth three thousand. I know how it happens. I I know because, okay. So my military background, uh, you know, we are renowned for. Unfortunately, uh, a lot of relationships don't don't last right. through all of that. Right. And of all the people that I have known, when it's time to get the divorce, all they care about is dumping gear. Yeah. And <laughs> getting it out of their house. Wow. So you donate some stuff to Goodwill. Because it don't mean nothing to you more. That, mm -hmm. you, that that dress is not cherished if the relationship fails. True. So you don't care. You just you just know it gotta go. 
That's crazy. And that's how a lot of stuff ends up. Divorces. And we have a high divorce rate outside of the military, but I'm just saying, like, here in America, the, look at the divorce rate. Yeah. And so, again, you're a rich person. I didn't buy it or someone bought it for me. It doesn't mean nothing to me anymore. Mm -hmm. It got to go, got to go. Man. And yeah. that's where it ends up. Right, right. But don't you think, let me let me ask you this. Don't you think there's, that we accumulate a lot of stuff? We do. Too? We do. Yeah. You don't have to keep it all. No. Nah. I mean, where are you going to do it? Is your house going to become a museum? Uh, well, you know. And, and can you show it off if it's in a couple boxes in the in the downstairs closet underneath the stairs in the little Harry Potter room? <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> that boy living in that little... <laughs> I know, man. A little bend of the stairs. Yeah, Harry Potter fans. Y'all out here, uh, fans of, of child trafficking. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Keeping exactly. that little boy in the club cupboard. Oh, Come on, man. man. Yeah. You're wrong. Yeah, you not a good thing. Harry Potter fans. They say... Douglas, don't come for us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I yeah, know there's the Swifties. I know there's the Beehive. What's the yeah. Potter Potterites? Potter Pottermanians? Uh, who 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 gonna come after me? Because I want all the smoke. That's good. <laughs> Y'all hear that? What they gonna do? You send it. Take send, out their little wands. Send the smoke to Douglas. They gonna come by on their broomsticks. Man, throw a Quidditch ball at me. They will slap you with nine and three quarter time. <laughs> <laughs> Alakazam, Alakazoo, we're done with you. <laughs> what they gonna do? Son, I don't get it. Well, I just don't want to be standing next to you when when the smoke when the smoke goes. No, down. no, no, no. That Keep the Maybach all. running because I'm gonna dive in. <laughs> I see him coming, dude. I'm I'm a runner, not a fighter. I'm a track star. Right, right. I didn't say I was an MMA champion. Right. <laughs> I said I ain't never got beat up. But I ain't saying I ain't avoid some stuff. Right, right, exactly. Well, you know, sometimes you gotta just sometimes you gotta let it go. <laughs> when that magic gets to you, you gotta let it go. Son. Yeah, you avoid some stuff. You're like yeah. Jabari. I don't think I can handle Jabari. But what I say is, hey Jabari, I'm gonna tell you this. Mm. I'm gonna meet you later on tonight at nine o'clock down on South Congress. Right. Where you gonna be at at nine o'clock tonight, Jabari? South Congress. Yeah. No, no. Where you gonna be? Well, I'm gonna be. Hopefully not at South Congress. No, I ain't gonna be in my. Butt. I'm gonna be. In, I'm gonna be. Uh, see, see there it be. is. See there it is. So I leave a short window. Yeah. Hopefully <laughs> the person doesn't have the opportunity, and then you know that's how you avoid, you avoid that stuff. <laughs> Boy, you crazy. Yeah. Absolutely <laughs> when I know crazy. you're busy, Jabari, I gotta ask you something. Okay. Would you date an ugly person? Mm, I think I've already done that. <laughs> oh. I think I probably, you know, dated, you know, have they, they've been a couple, you know, non-beauty queens. I'm being facetious. I'm laughing at people, but with right. dating someone less attractive. Right. So I'm making fun by saying ugly. Okay. Gotcha. But so you would do it. Uh, depending on who it was. Ah. It depends on who it was. It depends on who. It was. You know what? See, Jabari, on, you you are, you a good you a good dude, man. I hope I don't know. all that stuff that Jay Hunt be saying about you. Man, I, whenever you walk out of the the KZI meetings here, yeah, he always got something to say about you. But w w when I'm done laughing yeah. and agreeing with him, yeah, I always take up for you. I appreciate that. After man. I appreciate that, I Let's laugh see. first. Then I then agree. You, then you laugh. Yeah, Sometimes people. I provide input, <laughs> but then I be like, "Man, you wrong." Yeah, exactly. Well, I always finish with, "Man, you wrong." But see, Jay Jay can fix just about anything up here. <laughs> Some, so, so if I'm on the air and something goes wrong, if I text Jay, Jay will usually hit me back if he's awake. So I, when, you know, whenever what? he come running in here to fix stuff, why he always gotta kick open the door, do the little judo roll thing, and then he pull out. He always pull out a tool from where? I don't know. He ain't wearing no tool belt. He pull. He like. <laughs> and then, and then I don't know. You the see next thing you know is there's like a screwdriver in his hand. Sure. You see him this morning coming in looking like Luke Skywalker. Yeah. Then it was, okay. I, I thought he was going to pull out something <laughs> the, or, the, the, or, or the wave lightsaber. his hand hey. and force you to give him some money. Well, you know, he can he can fill up give this, me money. He can fill up this coffee while he's sitting there waving his hand. <laughs> Man, got the, he got the force. He got to do something industrious yeah, for the brother like you. me. Yeah, but what I will say is, so I have done that. Okay. With someone less attractive. Right. And what happens when you do that? You, they, they, they get you caught up because yeah. they understand that they are less attractive than what you can get. Right. And they treat you like a million bucks. Mm. And that's how you get caught. Right. This, this thing thing used to cook. This thing thing used to buy me stuff. Mm -hmm. This thing thing used to come show up to my my pickup basketball games, Jabari. Wow, wow, wow. wow. Remember the Skilo song? I'd be up in the stands with the rest of the girls who came to watch their man ball. Yeah, exactly. She was up in there. <laughs> well, every game. The games are won, the games are lost. Right. That's the stuff I'm talking about. Okay. And so they 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 come with it. So I'm out here, and uh if you're less attractive, 
Hit me up. <laughs> Email me here. It's, I'm your agent. Please send pictures. I'm going to get you love. Paul Washington. I will Thank you. get you loved up out here. <laughs> Boy. That's what I'm saying. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. They but, need love too. Well, this is true. No, that's true. Now, yeah, there's also security issues too. Yeah. I think some people, you know, I think honestly, there there's some some women that are more attractive than they think they are, and and the mirror can be your best friend or your worst enemy. And psychologically, you can think that there's something wrong or that you've got imperfect. Everybody has imperfections. Yeah. There are no perfect people. No. There are some good-looking people. There, you know, ladies that are handsome, guys are good-looking, but there are no perfect people. And I think we search for that perfection. And what I think another thing is, and we're, we're going to go to break in just a second, but another thing is I think we need to look inside ourselves because that's where that's that's where the, the challenges are. Yeah. Right? You know, obviously, people go to the gym. You know, we go to the gyms. Are, gyms are, are in business for a reason because people go in there to work on their bodies, to work on their health, and to, you know, to, to, to they want to look a certain way when they're in their clothes as well. Yeah. But there's a lot that we as people – go through when we're growing up a lot of experiences that we have growing up you know people that have left us people that we've lost and it impacts us and experiences that we've had are going to have either positive or negative impact on us so we can go to the gym all day long we can eat the right food we can work out 18 you know hours a week you know and all of that but bottom line is you know what do you think of yourself when you look in the mirror completely yes you may see somebody who's physically you know physically attractive but there's always that that mental thing yes, or the stuff that we haven't dealt with in the past and i know that because i went through therapy last year and dealt with a lot of stuff you know that i haven't thought about in years yeah things that really molded and shaped how i react to certain things and what i think about certain things yeah. and what i think about myself mm-hmm. so yeah you know go to the gym that's cool um, you know, date somebody who is who you know may who they may think is not as attractive and all of that. But bottom line, what it comes down to is what do you think about yourself? That's, Beauty that's fades, it. but personality lasts. And to his point, uh, that young lady had an amazing personality. I was up front. I mean, she knew. She right. knew. But I I would make comments about it. This is how I am. This is yeah. my personality. I, I say what I mean. But find what makes your partner beautiful on the inside. Yes, sir. And that was one of the things. And she was amazing. She was an amazing person. And man, we we really clicked. And it was a it was a, a great time. It was a beautiful and, thing. And um, you know, I've I no regrets. But but it's just it was it was a, a comical topic. And I and I wanted to get your take. And I I, I like exactly what you said, sir. I appreciate that. I appreciate, appreciate that. All right, you we'll offering. T- Thank you, sir. You're welcome. We'll take a little break and come back. It's the morning grind. Nine twenty four, eighty eight point seven, F M K A Z I. Forty two years and counting. Let's go. 88.7 FM KAZI, the song she won't play live anymore. Man. Patrice Russian, Forget Me Not. See, uh, I'm a, that hurt. Man, you. You know, you know I'm a I'm a Patrice Russian. I've I actually have a picture with her when she came to town. Wow. Um yeah, yeah. She she about four foot two. She little bitty, man, but she <laughs> she stand behind the grand piano band and just wear big that lungs. Thing. Yeah, yeah. She wear that thing out though. She, she sing from the diaphragm. Yeah, she does. She <laughs> sing from yeah, she sing from her feet all the way up. <laughs> Straight yeah, up. I yeah. love me some Patrice Russian, and she's an incredible, incredible keyboard player. Um, you know, people people always say, you know what? I can't take piano because my hands are small. You need to meet Patrice Russian. Patrice yeah. Russian is just, she, she's literally like, I think she's probably, she's probably five foot max, right? Yeah. And small, real small. She even calls her publishing, her, her music publishing company, Baby Fingers. That's, that's <laughs> wow. Serious. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Cool, cool. 936 here on 88.7 KAZI. This is Morning Grind. Your boy Jabari Warfield and Dap Dub in the building. Uh, so let me hit this topic real quick, man, and then we're going to get to yours. Mm-hmm. Um, late, I think it was February 2023, um, there was an AP African American Studies pilot course that Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida basically said was not, he, he basically said it lacks educational value and violated state law. And the college board that put this thing together released a copy of, of the revised framework of this. And there is some what they're calling some uh, some sort of compromise at some point. Uh, DeSantis basically said um, this this AP course has too much information on uh, Black Lives Matter and the black LBGTQ experience. And he says it's just not a credible course. Right. 
Yeah. So there's a revitalized version of this course. It's a pilot course. And now 700 schools are having the course in the current academic year across 40 states and Washington, D.C. Basically, DeSantis and I believe the governor of Arizona had declared the course being uh, being a problem. Now, I'm going to read down really some of the some of the titles of, of what's going on uh, that the AP course covers. The African diaspora, the continent of Africa, Africa's ancient societies, culture and trade in southern in East Africa, freedom, enslavement, and resistance, African explorers in the Americas, the slave trade in the United States, uh, labor, co- labor, culture, and economy, slavery and American law, legacies of the Haitian Revolution, resistance and revolts in the United States, women's rights and education, slavery and freedom in Brazil, African Americans in indigenous territory, black Seminoles, colonization, Uh, The Civil War in Black Communities, Reuniting Black Families, Jim Crow Laws, The Red Summer, which occurred between 1917 and 1921, and more likely they'll have the Tulsa Massacre uh, in that as well. Uh, Just a few more, The Discrimination of Black World War Veterans, Black Women's Rights and Leadership, The Impact of the AME Church, HBCUs, Black Greek Organizations, The Harlem Renaissance, The Afro-Caribbean Migration, and last but not least, Redlining and Housing Discrimination. Those are all subjects in the course and the course can you can actually download this thing it's like 294 pages wow. um but those are all the subjects in the course that ron DeSantis and the governor of arizona also will did not want to have as part of their curriculum and being this being the you know i know you tease me all the time about being a rich warfare <laughs> and all that. uh one of the things i'm also rich in is education and my father of course was the director of African and African American studies. At Legend. UT. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Shout out to the OG. Um, everything that's on this course, I've either either saw or read or was told about. Yeah. Right. So, ain't, not, ain't nothing this dude can say to me. You no. know, he can he can sit up there and bark all he wants to, but somebody need to put him back on the leash and put him back in the yard because there's nothing he can say to me about this. Everything that's on this course that I just read is is something that I've either known about or have read or have learned. When you're talking about a people, you have to talk about all of the different facets. Yeah. Um, there are some Slavic studies masters that if you look at the curriculum, they're talking about. So, so if you're talking about uh, Slavic studies and uh, this gets into Russian, East European, they're going to have courses that are going to talk about queer theory. Mm-hmm. Uh, they're going to talk about what it's like to, to be an LGBTQ Plus, over in that society right. where it is shunned, where it is it is not celebrated. So, yeah, if other courses can have that, why can't African-American studies? Of course. It, 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 he's shooting himself in the foot. All you're showing is your bias. That's it. Yeah. That's what you're doing. Yeah. When, when you're not fair and equitable or you're just not as knowledgeable on others, the first thing he should have done is gone to see, okay, if this is what African American studies goes towards, let me see what other different right. masters or or, or pro degree programs head towards. Now I'm I'm talking on higher education, but it, but but it, it comes down to that. It comes down to well, what are we saying? Yeah. And you're saying AP. That is yeah. what is that preparing you for? You don't take AP classes to prepare you for. My, one of the jobs I loved most is when I used to bag groceries for you crops. I don't have to take AP courses to prepare me for that. Amen. I'm taking AP courses because I'm, I'm going to launch myself forward and continue my education. So, man, it's just. Yeah, I know, man. I know. Yeah, it's Florida. It, yeah. That's well, what y'all yeah. doing. You know, and I, you know, it's the thing about that. And I go there, you know, I go there every year for for uh, for Zumba convention. I had a couple of people tell me, don't go to Florida. Be like, Please. This is, um, you know what? First of all, I am protected by the almighty God. So whatever he had, whatever plans he has for me, I'm going to go forward and I'm going to go enjoy myself. I'm going to go see my friends. I ain't worried about nothing. I ain't going to be in there long enough to start too much trouble. No way. So, you know, it's, yeah. And, and it's not only him. There are also several other Republican led states that uh, denounced the course back in January, 2023. And uh, a lot of uh, democratic governors uh, were like, okay, nah, man, you just, you, you think. So unfortunately here we go with the Republican versus Democrat thing again yeah. and no unity. And it's just, a bunch of mess it really really is so you had one more thing you wanted to talk about yeah uh, so i wanted to get to you um you, you know the movie terminator right right uh they coming 
Oh, man. See. Tesla robot attacks an engineer at the company's Texas factory during a violent malfunction, leaving a trail of blood yeah. and forcing workers to hit emergency shutdown button. Whoa. Come on. Serious? Yeah. Dang. And they didn't even send that dude home. Really? <laughs> what? They said, hey, you good? You good? Because we're going to need you to finish this ship, bruh. We can't wow. give you. Now, now, I mean, as a leader, yeah. you force that dude to go home. Yeah. You give him a direct order and be like, hey, you got to go home, bro. Exactly. Yeah, you got to you got to be out. But you can't stay on. Yo, that's finish crazy. Finish the day. That is absolutely crazy. Yep. Yeah, I knew it was coming. They I coming. It was coming. They coming. Come with me if you want to live. Yeah, Jabari. exactly. Yeah, old <laughs> but, but, but we taking your car. Yeah, why I got to take my <laughs> Come car? Come with me. I don't want them shooting in my but car. But we taking your... Wait. It don't matter at the end of it when it's apocalyptic. Man. Plus, we need a car that ain't going to break down while we're getting chased by yeah, the robot. We're going to take one of them cyber trucks that get shot at and don't break. <laughs> I bet you got one of those already, too. So you be keeping your stuff on the down low. You ain't want to tell nobody about your birthday. I have one on order. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a call real quick. Last call today. Hey, caller, how you doing? Hey, good morning. Happy birthday, Jabari. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that. I, this is the mouth and truth. Good morning, Douglas. Hey, good morning. Um, I, I'm going to call this DJ Wednesday, uh, Doug, Douglas and Jabari. Yes, I, <laughs> I like that. Um, <laughs> we, uh, we, have, we as African Americans, we haven't seen anything yet. The worst is still yet to come because conservatism is going to be on the rise because when you have a people that's been progressive, people people fear that. And that's why the the, the lady that resigned from the uh, Harvard uh, University, she was pressured and, and scrutinized because, yep. you know, African Americans, we are definitely evolving and emerging. And a certain demographic, you know, the, the, the pale and peak people, they don't want to see that. And that's why they banning things. That are, they're getting, when, you be a, when you have a people that's been progressive, you have to be oppressive. You have to be the opposite of that. And so we have, you know, the, the browning of this nation, the country is becoming more diversified. So you're going to see uh, anti-blackness. You're going to see a lot of anti-brown because, of our, our, you know, that's how we are definitely uh, um, coming around. We here. We we've been here, we've been here, and you know that your, your words your words ring so true. Yeah, we've been here. But I also think that comes with a, a uh, precaution because I think we African Americans we need to be armed because white people have a tendency to react to, to change. They don't embrace it, and they they can, they, they can lead to mass shootings. They can lead to acting out because you know we are targeted for our our color and our achievements. So I think that uh, more unsafe days are coming. So we got to be vigilant in public, be strapped, be armed, and, you know, continue to speak our truth, even though we've been censored. And when you talk about history, the, the, the word in history is his story. We have to tell our own stories, our own legacy, and pass that on. Because the public food system is called the public food system. Because if you keep people dumb, and you keep them in the dark. You say public food system? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Slam yeah. dunk. Yeah. I love that. Legit. You know what? They're not, they're, they're, not, they're not learning anything. No, you're right. You're right. And there's so much just so much preparation of life that needs to be taken. You know, and it's it's just, that's crazy. That's great. Carla, thank you so much. You have you have definitely added much, much value to this uh, to this morning, and we appreciate you. Yeah, well, thank you. All right, thanks for calling in. All right, we got to make room for the professor in just a yeah. minute. Yeah. All right, so real quick, Dab Dub, of course, you got the uh, fans view on Friday, my brother. Yeah, and 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 if I, I, a lot of people say, oh, I'm not a sports fan. Yo, tune in and give us a shot, because here's what I'm gonna tell you. You ain't gotta be a sports fan. Come here about the sports stories. Mm -hmm. You don't make it like, oh, we just up here, we just dropping the statistics. Yeah, he's got 469 yards, and we're gonna, nah, we ain't even. We talking about the stories. Right. This is what this is what your cousin talking about. This is what they talking about at the cooler talk. So yeah, we are gonna help you out. And you ain't got to be a sports nerd. Let's just talk about it. Exactly. Let's just give it a run. Yeah. Sounds good. All right. Check out my man Douglas. He'll be in on Friday from 10 to 12. Giving you the fans view. Corey Mose from uh, KVU is going to be here as well. Uh, later on tonight, be sure to check out my man Greg Ricard. He's got Let's Cool One. He'll be giving you some very cool jazz later on tonight. Of course, uh, Iron Sharpens Iron is going to be right around noon. Check out Iron Sharpens Iron. Uh, really, really great show. All the programs we have here on KZI 88.7 FM. We are going into our 42nd year of bringing you some of the coolest stuff you will ever hear coming out of Austin, Texas. We stream all over the world at KAZI FM. 
anchor.fm.org and also get the TuneIn app for your mobile device, your phone, and your smart TV. Get the get the TuneIn app for your smart TV. Search KZI and we will be right there. Thank you all so much for joining us. Have a wonderful, wonderful Wednesday and we out.